Um, I thought I'd just start with a little bit of economic context before I start talking about transport. Uh, the Manchester Independent Economic Review, which was published uh, last year, uh, said that the city region uh, is the main driver of the northwest economy. And in fact, uh, in the last 10 years, almost half of the increase uh, in the northwest employment has come from Manchester itself. And we need a transport system uh, that will match that and support that economic growth. We've got four key objectives to that uh, transport strategy. Firstly, supporting the competitive advantage of people like you, uh, employers, and ensure that all employers have good access uh, to the city. Improving access to employment, uh, to culture, and leisure facilities. Tackling climate change and delivering a low carbon economy, and improving the personal safety and security for our traveling public. Well, Howard's already mentioned that last May, uh, we committed to, or we got AGMA to commit to a one and a half billion pound funding package for public transport and a number of road schemes. And the majority of those will be delivered over the next five years. By 2021, the fund will actually deliver 21,000 additional jobs. And this map uh, illustrating before you the extent of, of the transport fund, um, the yellow extensions that you can see are, are those that are currently, the Metrolink lines that are currently under construction. Those in red are those for which contracts will be let uh, this year. Um, and the blue lines are showing the existing Metrolink network. We're also building new interchanges uh, at Bolton and at Altrincham, and we're building 2,000 additional park and ride spaces, which you can see scattered uh, over that map. Uh, they're mainly located at rail and Metrolink stations. The fund is also going to provide investment, 50 million pounds of investment in heavy rail stations, and there are additionally four road schemes for which several hundred million pounds have been allocated. Well, Metrolink at the moment, we currently uh, transport 20 million passengers a year, and 6,000 of those are traveling each day in the morning peak period. By 2020, that 6,000 passengers will have grown to 16,000, uh, as the number of sit uh, jobs within the city center grows quite significantly. So overall, um, there are going to be three times as many trams traveling uh, on the network uh, as compared to where we are today. We've made some quite significant improvements over the last 12 months. Uh, we've made changes to all of the stops uh, on the Altrincham line over the summer, and we're going to be making improvements to the existing system on the Berry and Eccles line over the next 12 months. We've installed new ticket machines throughout the city centre, and there will be new ticket machines installed throughout the network uh, by the end of, well, certainly within the next couple of months. I'm always too uh, nervous about giving specific dates. They always come back to haunt you. Um, those new ticket machines will enable us to uh, pay or tra passengers to pay using bank and credit cards, which is obviously quite a new feature. Uh, one of the major problems that we've suffered is people standing queuing for cash machines and finding uh, that their bank notes never work. Uh, well, that, I hope, will be a thing of the past and you can now all use your bank cards. Um, we made improvements within the city centre as well. So we made significant improvements to Piccadilly Gardens stop, uh, a, a much wider stop, new shelters and new ticket machines have been installed there. St Peter's Square has also uh, significantly changed compared to, to how it was. That can now accommodate the new double trams uh, and it's much better integrated, we believe, with the public realm. There were significant concerns about whether we'd be able to do that. Uh, we believe we've done that successfully. The other thing we've done in the city centre is we've replaced all of the track throughout the city centre, which makes a huge difference in terms of ride and a huge difference in terms of the reliability uh, of the system. And the public realm, thanks to uh, a very significant contribution from the city council, uh, there, we now have a, a much, much better public realm. Uh, there, there are, the, the surface finishes are, are vastly improved compared to how they were. Um, we've made some park and ride improvements. Uh, for example, Navigation Road. There are 82, 82 new spaces at uh, Navigation Road for park and ride. And we've made improvements uh, throughout the system in terms of signage, branding, lighting, new CCTV. Uh, and all of those things will improve safety and security for passengers. So the four new extensions to the Metrolink network that are currently being, uh, being built.